Hey everybody, it's Tony Chris here and we are off the highway. We're going way off the highway today with Mickey Jones. That's Mickey Jones right there. Great to see you, Mickey. Hello. Mickey, I know that you're re currently um, doing your research with the North American Institute for Indigenous Theological Studies, right? That's, That's right. right. And uh, so you're studying theology and culture at an indigenous institute. So here's my question for you, Mickey Jones. As a good... Christian lady from Nashville, Tennessee, African American. Why on earth are you studying under a bunch of Indians? Uh, yeah, when I tell people what I'm studying, I'm like, I know it's weird. It's not that it's weird; it's just different. Um, but I really wanted to do theology from the margins and theology from uh, the perspective of peoples who have had to endure uh, a lot of. Um, suffering, a lot of hardship, but still continue to be strong and to love and to pursue God, um, even though they've been through really terrible things. And um, not that I can't explore that within African American culture, because of course, we've been through our fair share of things, but um, there's, there's just an amazing synergy that happens between, I think, both Native American and African American contexts. And I wanted to bring all of that together in my theological studies. Uh, yeah, and, and I joke, of course, because I think I think Nate's is a fantastic program, and, and some of the people you are studying under are some of my favorite thinkers in the country. Um, can you just give a sort of can can you try and connect the two for us in one in one practical way, like how um, this indigenous studies is a, sort of influencing you as you're uh, pursuing your faith, walk with God, that sort of thing. Yeah, so um, probably one of the most important things is um, removing human beings and myself from the center of the universe. So um, I now see the importance of creation, of the world, of other people uh, who don't look like me, who are outside of my context, um, because what I do see is I think a lot of people would think, oh, you're studying with Native Americans, so they're going to be talking about things from their perspective. But actually what I've found is it's very inclusive. Um, it's very much centered on bringing wholeness, uh, salvation, shalom for all people and for the planet um, and for the plants and the animals. Everything has to be healthy. We're all part of a circle. We're all part of, um, of what God loves. And that has deeply influenced how I think about something like the XL pipeline going through the United States. That affects animals and where people live and the earth. It's not just about do we need more oil or do we, you know, what do we do? It's, it's about affecting everyone. Fantastic. And certainly the pain of this world, the groaning of this world, uh, Romans chapter 8. Is it affects us as, as human beings trying to figure it out, but it also affects the cosmos as the created world groans along with us. Everybody, that is Mickey Jones. Thanks so much for being here, Mickey. If you want to read more from Mickey, go to the Emerging Voices blog at patheos.com. Have a great day.